guys, welcome back today for another video. I have been doing a really bad job of documenting this for you guys, so I'm just gonna tell you what's going on. And uh, as you can see, we do have like fenders on and stuff. So um, I know the last video that I posted, I was just taking it apart. And um, I'm gonna have to give you an update of what is going on. So as you can see guys, this is all mocked up. I do have the fenders mocked up. They're <clears throat> this is not welded or anything. This is literally just clamped in place. But I'm going to go over with you guys right now because I'm about to take this back apart. And um, I got to weld through primer the backside of the strut tower and also the backside of the tube front end before I weld it up. But I want to explain to you guys what you have to do to go about doing something like this. As you can see, the cuts are pretty good. I do have a slight gap here. Um, remember, this is the side that was crashed. So I'm going to have to probably tap this, close the gap a little bit the best I can, and we'll just fill it with weld. I don't think it'll be a problem. Um, so when you do something like this, you measure from the firewall forward 16 and a quarter inches, which gets you to right about this line right here where I made that line. As you can see, it's a little bit longer, but you know, that's just how it wound up being. 16 and a quarter is actually for a fox body. This is not a fox body. Obviously, obviously you guys could tell that. So it's 16 and a quarter inches is what they tell you. I didn't cut on 16 and a quarter. I cut like 16 and a half ish, like somewhere around there. And then I mocked up the front end and I'll show you guys when I take this fender off what exactly I'm talking about. But there's two bolts on the outside here and the same thing over there that have to line up and that'll give you your, your perfect distance. Um, and then another thing too is when you do something like this, you're going to want to make sure it's level from left to right as, as also you have to make sure it's level from front to back. So you want to check this rail front to back, that rail front to back, and then across them. And you want this to be nice and level. And remember we leveled the car. So you have to level the car to achieve that obviously. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get all of this pulled back off the header panel, the fenders and everything. And I'm going to actually get the front end back off. Um, I will show you guys the bolts that I'm talking about up there, um, before I remove the front end and then we'll weld through primer, both back sides, both sides and the strut towers. And we'll burn this thing in and get it permanently fitted on the car. And then we'll have to move around and start making brackets for everything like the ABS and everything. But it shouldn't be too bad once it's welded on. Then it's just going to be time consuming stuff like, you know, make brackets for everything and whatnot. But I must say this does fit like a glove, guys. This is a Team Z product. This is the welded version. It, it honestly goes right on with no issues. So if you're looking to do a tube front end on your car and you have a Mustang, Team Z, I would say, is the way to go unless you guys have a custom fabricator do it. So the bolts that I was talking about are these right here. So if you line these up, you will have no issues with fitment. Um, this thing fits very, very well. Very, 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 very well. As you can see, we have a very small gap here. We can easily fill that, fill that with weld. We have a perfect welding point right there and on this side also. Um, I'm also going to probably fill this in with weld just because uh strengthen the strut tower back up a little bit but yeah and then obviously down below we have very good gaps and everything and that i don't think will be any issue whatsoever but if we come over to this side this is where stuff gets a little bit hairy so as you can see we have a pretty significant gap right here um it, it is pretty bad so what we're going to do is remember this is the crash slide so this is all tweaked and everything so what i'm going to do when i go to fit this back up is i'm going to tap this in i'm going to tap that down tap this back whatever i got to do to close this gap the best that i can and then we'll weld her in um same thing down here uh there's not much of a gap this actually fits pretty well but i did have to pull it down slightly because it was up so i pressed it down and then put my clamp on so, you know, it's just something to keep in mind, but obviously with any aftermarket thing, you're, you're going to have to make it work, you know, but on this particular car, it was wrecked. So, you know, we have a little bit more work to do than if we were doing this on like a clean car, but it's nothing crazy. So I'm going to pull this off now. I'm going to get this thing off. I'm going to weld through primer, the backside of the tube, uh, the tube, um, front end. And then I'm also going to grind down the strut tower where I'm going to be welding to and uh, weld through primer that too. And weld through primer is just insurance for the future 
I don't want any rust on this car, so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. But I am going to use this right here. It's a 3M product, weld through. And um, we won't have no issues, and then we'll we'll get the welder over here, and uh, we'll burn this thing in permanently. After, obviously, we level it and everything, but I'll show you guys that. And uh, then we'll burn her in permanently, and we'll be on our way to having a Mustang back, so... Pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. I've never personally done any work like this, so please don't judge me. Um, my welding's not that great either, but I'm going to get it done. I want to build this car myself. I don't want to have somebody come weld it for me. Like I want to be the one to do everything on this car, um, short of the bodywork and paint. Um, I'm just going to let somebody do that, but I definitely want to do all of this type of stuff myself. So, yeah. All right, so we got all of this ground down. We got it weld through primered all the way back like up to here and all the way down to right about there we have the back sides primered so now i'm going to put this back up here i'm going to clamp it in place and this is what i've been using to hold it up we're going to make it nice and level and then uh, we're going to put our bolts back through and we're going to weld it weld it up and get it permanently on the car guys okay, so i got it real real close to level um, I can't really get it any better than this but it's so close i don't think it'll really matter um, it's, it's, it's real, real close. Like it's just a little bit off, but I can't, I can't do anything really to make it where it's gotta be. This side's actually like perfect, but uh, it's so close. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, I mean, it was a little bit off, like the car itself, when I leveled it, it was a little bit off the opposite way. So, I mean, if you think about it, I'll put a picture right now of how it was. And then it'll probably compensate about the difference. So it's probably somewhere like right there. It's so close. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to get this thing welded in. Uh, it's, it's just too close. It's, it's way, 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 way too close. So I'm going to weld it in, at least tack it in tonight, and then I'll finish weld it tomorrow. Well, boys, she's tacked. That's literally only tack welded, and it's, it's pretty, damn, uh, pretty damn solid. I'm moving the whole car with it, so yeah. Uh, this is extremely hard to weld, guys. Um, it burns through very very easily so that's something to keep in mind um but yeah i mean we're gonna hopefully uh be able to weld it uh no already it's not gonna look too great as you can tell but uh yeah we'll uh we'll get her done i mean it is what it is and so we are done we are done this thing is not going anywhere I'm literally shaking the whole car about to pull it off the jack stands there's no way it's going anywhere um it's welded at the bottom the top on both sides i do have to go around and clean my welds up i'm not the best welder like i said guys don't make fun of me but <laughs> weld doesn't look you know the greatest but it's gonna hold and that's all that matters so we are going to clean these welds up all of them everything and uh, then we are going to epoxy primer this whole front end, and then we are going to actually paint it white. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video. This video was kind of just a uh, get the front end on the car and all good. So yeah, here it is, guys. I'm sorry that I am lacking. Okay, I'm just really excited to get this car done. Um, very, very excited. I really want to drive this car on the road really bad, and we're again moving in the right direction you know little by little um it's gonna happen we're gonna be taking the car to the track and everything it is gonna happen guys just bear with me um it's a lot of work this this car is a lot of work trust me um it's very very smoky in here due to the uh, welder because the flux score so it creates a lot of smoke um i do have the door open so i'm not breathing all this in um but yeah, so I really hope that you guys like what you saw in today's video. I'm really excited to get this car back on the road. Really, really, really excited. Like, I don't know if you guys understand how excited I am. Um, but yeah, so I just want to say thank you to all the subscribers. Um, please drop a like, comment, 
subscribe to the channel if you're new here and uh, we have plenty more videos coming with the mustang we might have some coming with the jeep in the near future but yeah so that concludes today's video uh, if you have any questions for me drop them down below please don't make fun of my welding please i know i'm not a good welder but it's okay um but yeah so i'll catch you guys in the next one peace